stuff like this. Yeah, bitch, look at you miserable. You so worried about it. You got so many opinions. Oh, you know what DZ do? What friends I got? DZ like, why you so worried? Why are you so worried? <laughs> I'm, smoking my, I'm, I'm smoking my bong. Yeah, I'm smoking my bong. I'm coughing just like your just like your mammy did. She coughed all the way to the grave, bitch. She coughed all the way to the grave. Yo, dead ass mammy in that dirt rotting. Yo, ma yo, yo, mammy so nasty, bitch. The dirt around her is green. Your mama dirt is green. So yeah, you coughing. Guess what? J Jay coughing every time you suck his dick. Jay coughing every time he got to top your fat nasty ass with all that mold on your back. Did you forget how you look naked? Did you forget how you look naked? Bro, you look a damn. Okay. You done. Let me go back. You done. Let me go back to Dre, baby. Okay. And can we try and steer a little bit away from the health and death reads? I mean, go ahead, but I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, you know. So this is an acknowledgement that the health and death reads are on the app. They do this. It's not just these little instances I'm showing you. Like, you can tie, you can. Type in this app and you can all of this stuff uh come up. You can go on Instagram on the recap pages or on the gossip pages or on um X, you know. I mean, and you'll find this stuff. Like it's atrocious. Bitch, no. Shut the fuck up. <coughs> Literally shut shut her up. <coughs> Bitch, milk and axe. <coughs> AIDS pill. <coughs> Bitch. Can't motherfucking form a sentence without uh, uh, ass, bitch. Let's talk about it. You really made because you almost got. You're the reason why he almost got killed. Uh, wasn't you the one saying one flash in that motherfucking nigga in the house the night of? Is you really insecure about that? Is that what really got your motherfucking panties in a bunch, bitch? Because you couldn't keep that venom in your motherfucking pants, bitch. Is you the reason why they almost lost his life that night? Bitch, is that your real any motherfucking security, bitch? That you got going on, bitch? Cause you was flashing that guy supposedly, bitch. You sick ass bitch. I'm glad he dodged that bullet, bitch. With you, punk. You nasty ass bitch. You want to talk about everything but the course at hand, bitch. You want to talk about oh, I'm this, I'm that. Look where your beauty has gotten you. I always remind you, beauty pageant, beauty dead, walking dead ass bitches of all this beauty y'all got. You sick ass bitch. Yeah, bitch, you got HIV, bitch, living. You walking dead, punk. And I don't give a fuck how no bitch feel about it. Don't talk about me. Don't talk about my man. We got that venom poisonous shit through your motherfucking veins, bitch. How dare you speak of her when you're dying of what she had, punk? Y'all bitches got the motherfucking nerve. Had it not been for her and had it not been for science, you bitches wouldn't live it. I wish it was the 80s. And that shit was back in because you be dead, bitch. You would be dead and you don't live alone. You do live with somebody. You don't have a car. You don't have a license. And you on home monitor. Bitch, make it make sense, bitch. You coughing ass bitch. You me sex ass bitch. These, you can't raise your hand and say anything. Put your motherfucking hand down and put up a sign that says, Stop AIDS, bitch. We are the world, ass bitch. Oh, okay. Imagine a bitch who made me die from AIDS pretending like she don't got it. Bitch, what you mad about is you ugly with the shit. You you ugly and walking dead, you ugly bitch. So nobody ever gonna want you, bitch. When your money went out, when your three million quarters run out, Jay's gonna run out. Matter of fact, you still getting the three million out and Jay done now already ran out twice. Bitch, you ugly fat ass fuck. What are you talking about? You're the same bitch that exposed herself because you wrote that you had AIDS on your car. Remember? You put that note on your car and you was like, oh no. Remember, you did that yourself. You exposed that yourself, bitch. I know about reverse psychology. I know about, look, you try to do a storyline, but bitch, you really told on yourself. Bitch, fuck is you talking about, you nasty fat fuck. Like I said, your mammy died from me, bitch, and you got it to her son. So, bitch, if this was the 80s, guess what? Your fat ass would be dead from a lot more than HIV, bitch. You high cholesterol, high di diabetes, having ass bitch. No water, jug, ankles, having ass bitch. You look a fool every day. Dre, baby, the only time you look halfway, somewhat decent is when your fat ass put on the powder makeup and the wig and try to be a woman. As a nigga, you look a fool even on your best days. On your Instagram pictures, you look a fucking fool with all that designer on. You can't pay You can't pay enough to make your fat ass look good. I'm sorry. That's why you mad. So you talking about a beauty pageant. Yeah, bitch, I look good as D-fuck. Nobody will ever say that about your fat, ugly ass. So you, you better keep us laughing. You better keep us in stitches so that we don't focus on the little shit about you. We don't focus on that little under part of your neck. We don't focus on that green part of your body. We don't focus on them dimples and wrinkles on your ass, you big, fat, ugly ass, bitch. Quit playing with me. 
quit playing with me. You a mad ass fat bitch that's getting in tune with me because I said pay a Play some shit that ain't got shit to do with you. I said I don't want to talk. I don't want to repeat this same narrative about me and twin. And now you mad because you so invested. Your fat ass want to be involved in everybody else's business. Go get Jay. Where the fuck Jay at? Where the fuck was Jay at when he came in the house five o'clock in the morning? Then went straight to sleep. Then want to fuck your fat ass. Okay, let's worry about what the fuck going on in your life and stop worrying about DZ, bitch. You talking about I got no motherfucking driver's license? You can go look my shit up. I do have a driver's license. You dumb fat bitch. My name is okay. on my lease. Fuck you talking about you repeating a whole bunch of dirty. Uh, 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 because uh, you didn't even make no basis for hearts. Um, obviously can't donate plasma. Would you sit up here and make it lose the eyes of that old ass house? But anyway, you're not neither here nor there, busy girl. Are you seriously saying his ass? You want crazy and maniac, literally, over a nigga that shot at you. Your nigga tried to kill you and murder you twice. Ah, twice. I mind you, twice. I mind you. Because who did give you that shit? Was you running around town spreading the mania gave it to you? Only to him come throw them bullets at you too? He tried to kill you twice, bitch. I hope the Lord take you out of this motherfucking earth, bitch, and you don't live on your own. You don't have a license. You don't have a car, Frank, bitch. You don't. Where's that? Let's see it. I challenge DZ to go up and get his license right now. I challenge DZ to show me his lease with his name. I challenged Deezy to walk outside and show us the car, and I bet all three she had. Crane, can you ask if you provide any of those documents? Let's see. Let's unmute it. I dare you to take, I dare you to take an a HIV test. I dare you to take a full blood test on live. Yeah, do that. Do that. When I do that, I'll show you my documents. You fat, weird, fat bitch. Oh, yeah, now, now it's no. Oh, now you can't do it. No, let's do the same thing, bitch. What are you talking about? Let's do the same thing. You take all those tests, you weird, fat ass bitch, because guess what? Then you're going to be ugly, fat, and sick. You're going to be the fat walking dead, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? Don't worry about me, bitch. I could show all that. I could show all that for what? To prove to you? No, I don't have a car. Okay. Um, Go ahead. Mute, um, I mute um, her co-worker. <laughs> they, they muted. Go ahead. Mute her understudy. <laughs> I'm Mew sorry, this is funny because it's only about just. No, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm mentioning the all her motherfucking titles. Muha Twin, <laughs> Muha Understudy, Muha 3LW, okay, 3LSG, 3 Little Sick Girls. All you sick girls like to combine and love to go after others. You sick, nasty-ass, skeletal-ass mutts, <laughs> coffee-ass bitches. The sick girls, Prince, you are sick just like along with her, girl. So, of course, you want to vouch for her. Of course, you, oh my God, how DZ Brad. Okay, Dre, I'm being fair because he did run his time. Shut your fat ass up. <laughs> oh, it was me that time. <laughs> oh my God, the sick girls will always gang. I'm going to let them girls have it. They're sick. They are fucking dying and they're on their last limb of life. So, why the fuck would I give a fuck? Oh, they said, Dre, the girls smoke weed. Damn. Oops. Did they? They smoking some more shit than that. They smoking them dicks that got them infected. These pretty girls, oh, um, Prince is pretty, right? DZ is pretty, but they both sick and infected. Make it make sense. I guess the pretty girls get sick. <laughs> pretty girls, unite. Pretty girls rock. Dre, really? Okay, let me let me go. Zay, do you have anything to say? You've been quiet. You haven't raised your hand. I can't help but bring that up because I know it hurts that you, you same, can't find no love. Nobody the wants same to nigga love you yet. crying yeah, about left you, bitch. The yeah, same nigga that you crying about left you. And I'll get another one. You got to get another one. That's, that's you your insecure mindset. Fuck Stop him. worrying about I'll it. You're worrying one. about the wrong shit. Why you about a bucket list, bitch? One. You need to worry about... You want to jump off the Grand Canyon. You should want to go skydiving. You should want to go boating. You should want to go sailing. Because, bitch, you live in a bad motherfucking time, it, bitch. You worried about the wrong motherfucking shit. Y'all keeping up with a nigga. You need to keep up with your you're deal, done. bitch. Because you're going to break and you're going to be gone. You're going to break and you're going to be gone. You're going to break and you're going to be gone, bitch. It ain't going to be no more you, bitch. It ain't going to be no more nigga. You can't die with a nigga, bitch. No. I didn't see you hire a nutritionist. No. Get a bucket list, bitch. Don't get a nigga. You need a bucket list. You need to do with all that you thought you couldn't do. Go skydiving. You need to start living out your life. It's on ball time. You do know that, right? No, that's your mother. That's not me. You're crazy. You're going to 
That's and I can chase easy. your goals. Because it ain't going to happen. Not, Jeremy, I got time to do both. Okay? You don't never go to the old man. To do both. You never get that. I have, I'm in a no. position to do both. You're not. You so I get it. Time. I get why you're upset. You're I get why you're in an uproar. I give you five I'm I'll in a position to years. do both. You're not. I'll give you five years. Take note. Listen, just like you, you can show y'all to get some beans. Time. Well, hers a little shorter. So let me not say ball time. Let food. me say an extension. <laughs> she got an extension. <laughs> I borrowed a hundred dollars, but they just extended her phone bill. The <laughs> they still want her to pay it on the day. <laughs> She's on the extension. I'ma change that. She's on extension. Yeah. I'm on bail, but she's on an extension. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you shut up, bitch. Beagle is so weird. Beagle is not weird, Buffy. How's we go weird, Buffy, the Barbie? Sister, how's we go weird? Tell me. So, my thing is this. Um, <laughs> this is atrocious. Like, it's, it's just, it's crazy how this community is so oppressed, but at the same point in time, this stuff is going on that you just heard. This stuff is going on in this community. And no, this does not represent everyone in this community. But a lot of people know about this. And those who remain silent are just as guilty. People will laugh and joke, you know, and then have the nerve to talk about these people, call them low vibrational and stuff like that. But this is is sick and then my thing is some of these people are in the ballroom scene right and so at these balls like i was just watching on the show um you know they about to have a ball in miami uh you know i think what this coming weekend and one of the guys he was just talking about how it's going to be all this um you know free STI testing and STD testing and don't get me wrong like yes we should be out here getting tested and everything else but I mean if I if you think about it think about like you know a newcomer some somebody that's not as knowledgeable in the scene and to hear some of these people that's, you know, within the ballroom scene, you know, speak like this. It's like, could I really trust these people that's doing the testing? Like, could I really trust them to not tell, you know, my business or, you know, stuff like that? People out there do think about stuff like that. I mean... It's unfortunate that, you know, this stuff is taking place and it's just crazy that, you know, organizations within the LGBTQIA scene, organizations like GLAAD and other organizations, you know, um, within the scene, they say nothing. They say nothing about, you know, this this stuff that's going on. Um, even, you know, your top black gay celebrities. Like, you know, <clears throat> where is Billy Porter's response? I'm sorry, I ain't trying to dr name drop, but where is the response to stuff like this? I mean, you know, people doing shows about... You know the ballroom scene and you know i'm sure that you know I, like i said i never seen that show you know so i don't really know what was going on but i imagine because this is black gay culture and it's about the ballroom scene and uh, it was supposed to take back you know take place back in the day and you know hiv and aids was you know way more deadlier 
back then. So, you know, I'm, I'm imagining they probably touched on it, you know, within the show. And it's like we all have friends, family, you know, um, partners, you know, that have either passed from this or, you know, living with HIV. And I just feel it's very disheartening that this goes on. Um, you know, these are social media influencers, you know, uh, and <clears throat> some of them, because like, no, it's one, it's one on this, it's one on the app, like, that bitch will stand 10 toes down for uh, what he said. They call him Donna. He will stand 10 toes down for what he say. I do believe that about him. Like, you make him mad enough, that, that nigga gonna stand 10 toes down. But, very few far in between. And <clears throat> for a community that's supposed to be so oppressed, you know, it's like, are we really oppressed? I mean, the way we treat each other, the violence, the hatred, and everything that's going on within this particular scene. I don't know. I do know. Um, I just think that, you know, like I said, I've, I've already brought out certain instances like, you know, Willie Lynch and, you know, how he was treated. Um, back in the day, never receiving the proper mental health. And unfortunately, this is one of the outcomes. Um, like I said, this app have given certain people like this power to where they think that they can even talk about, you know, these celebrities, you know, like Nicki Minaj, you know, for instance. And it's just, it's crazy. And, you know, um, they, this community uh, try to cancel people, you know, like Gilbert Arenas or, you know, the trans community was after, uh, J. Cole, I believe they was dragging him. But, I mean, are we ready to talk about how within the trans community, you know, y'all misgender each other, y'all do health reads, and y'all do death reads and stuff, you know, towards each other. So, you know, and I just don't get how do we, you know, cancel others, you know, for saying things when in this community, we say a lot more worse things to each other than what these celebrities be saying. I mean, yeah, I know, I, like I keep referencing the baby, but, um, you know, I know what his comments were, but I mean, damn, what you just heard, if you just listened to this, I mean, to me, this stuff was way worse than what that man said. So, that's where I'm at with it. It's like, to me, it's all hypocrisy. And this is the playbook. I mean, you can't be canceling other people when, you know, you're doing it yourself. Um, I forgot to post. As a four-year-old. So, okay. Old kid. And so I'm just going to take a uh, before I go on. So this next video, uh, before I go on, uh, before I go on. Um, I forgot to post uh, a few videos from Instagram reels that I've seen. And so I'm just going to take a moment. I just want to post the audios. You can find these on Instagram if you really want to, if you're really interested. So, okay. Mistake of my life. Lived eight years as a female named Laura Jensen after undergoing gender reassignment surgery in April of 1983. I started as a four-year-old kid in 1944. So I'm bringing to this conversation today 74 years of first-hand experience in some way, either living it or trying to deal with it or trying to recover from it. This was the biggest mistake 
of my life. I think it's important for us to realize that there is actually nothing good about affirming a young boy four years old like my grandma did me. The moment you affirm a child like my grandma did putting me in a purple chiffon dress and telling me how cute I was, how wonderful I looked, is the, at the very same moment that you're affirming that young person, you're telling them there's something wrong with them. You're not right. That is child abuse. We need to begin calling it what it is. It's not affirming a child. It's causing them to be depressed and anxious about who they are. And then we go on to inject hormone blockers into them and begin altering their body. Can we begin to understand today from these discussions how destructive this is to the psyche? It's no wonder they end up with separation anxiety and bipolar disorder, dissociative disorders, schizophrenia, and many other disorders. I lived, I lived okay. eight years. I'm just going through... Why well, don't think it's one community? Really? Your opinion is only LGBTQ. Why well, don't think it's one community? Really? Yeah. I mean, how could it be? You just mash together an alphabet soup. Trans is fundamentally intention with gay, if you ask me. So I was okay. just wondering what your views on same-sex couples were. I don't have a negative view of same-sex couples, but I do have a negative view of a tyranny of the minority. We have now, in the name of protecting against tyranny of the majority, created a new tyranny of the minority. And I think that that's wrong. I don't think that somebody who's religious should be forced to officiate a wedding that they disagree with. I don't think somebody who is a woman who's worked really hard for her achievements should be forced to compete against a biological man in a swim competition. I don't think that somebody who's a woman that respects her bodily autonomy and dignity should be forced to change clothes in a locker room with a man. That's not freedom, that's oppression. What are your, what are your opinions on the LGBT? I agree. Oh, here's another. Whiff, you assured us that these top weeks ago, in a vote to allow trans students to use whatever bathroom they wish, you assured us that these policies were perfectly safe, as neither yourself nor law enforcement could provide a single example of any trans student assaulting any girl in any bathroom, in any school, in any state, anywhere in all of that. But not to worry, since you couldn't locate them, I took the trouble too. See, Loudoun County, Virginia, where last year, under district policy, a trans student was allowed into the women's bathroom, where he assaulted a girl. To cover it up, they moved him to another school, where he did it again. See, Irvine, California last night, where a trans student entered the women's locker room and flashed the girls there. When they confronted him, he mercilessly beat them. This happened again in Gwinnett County, Georgia. This happened again in Oklahoma City. This happened again in Ohio, where a trans man was allowed to use the locker room where he was arrested for flashing the girls. The true. judge dropped the charges after he ruled that this I wish man was I could see the picture that he's holding up. It's a fat ass white man that looks like the penguin. Not who you would think. Not, not the black man. Down and killed a female jogger because he quote wanted to look just like her. And before you said that these are anecdotal evidence, just note that in a survey of trans inmates in federal prisons several weeks ago, in several weeks ago. Plus, baby, baby, y'all are doing too much. And yes, you are a plus, baby, y'all are doing too much. And yes, I'm gonna be the one to say it because if a straight person says it, y'all gonna say they're homophobic, this and the third, and it's like, no, boo, you're just doing the most, and it's really not cute. Because can someone explain to me why I'm seeing all these pride videos, people in the streets acting like they ain't got no fucking home training? But does uh, see boo cheat 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 all out on display for everybody to see? Middle New York, broad daylight, minors present. Like when it says, when is that okay, sis? Because it's not. And bitch, don't get it twisted. On a scale of one to classy, I'm not giving a royal family by any means. Like I love to turn up, shake some ass, and have a good time. But bitch, time and place. Yes. And, that, and that was not yes. it. Y'all, when I, I tell y'all, I saw this chick, practically nothing on, on top of a water fountain, water spraying all up in her cookies, nookies, and crannies, a bit, 
I'm just wondering what type of antibiotic that doctor's gonna prescribe for all that. People hanging from street lights, hooking up on the side of the road. What in the land before time, Neanderthal behavior? Raggedy is the word for it. They already don't fuck with us like that, and this is how you want them to perceive us. Probably is an event based around acceptance and equality, not an excuse for y'all to act a fucking fool. Alright, y'all. As long as you guys know that that does not represent the entire LGBTQIA plus right. community. Even I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <sighs> Do better. My fellow. Yeah. I agree. Uh, before okay. Okay. Gay. Okay. My friends are straight men. I don't really hang out with gay people. Don't cancel me. I feel like gay people do too much. Oh, the quorum, right? A lot of people feel like some gay people do too much because there is this constant want for attention. Of, hey guys, I'm gay. People feel that way where. A lot of flamboyance, a lot of attitude, a lot of sass, nothing wrong with it, but I just feel like time and place matters. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know when to tone it down a little bit. And it's almost as if, like, you see how protective I'm being of my words? Gay people don't have that same protection. Like, you guys could go out here and say everything about straight people. And don't be saying the consequences. Yeah. And then, so, like, you see how I got to talk right now where I can't say nothing too crazy because I know if I offend the community, it's clipped. Those rules don't apply to gay people. Damn, like... Y'all getting all the privileges, all the rights, all the jobs, and we can't say nothing if we're uncomfortable, but we make you guys uncomfortable, and then we're out of here. The loud gay people are the one that gets the attention. Mm -hmm. Women can relate to that. Most of my friends, most of my See, friends, friends and that are That is why I am doing this, because the hypocrisy, that is hypocrisy. That is not fair. Nobody should have to be uncomfortable walking on eggshells, feeling like they can't, you know, say whatever they need to say. Of course, of course, let's be respectful, you know, let's be respectful, but, and if, even if not, you know, be, be prepared to get that right back, you know, that's why I don't believe in uh, banning people, you know, um, free speech, because I don't want my speech to be censored so I definitely I agree with what that man was saying and a lot of the heterosexual men in the community do feel like in their community do feel like what that man was saying like you know when it comes to us when it comes to the LGBTQIA we can say whatever we want to say and you know we can do whatever we want to do and you know, and but the minute somebody says something to us, they out of there. That's not right. You know, and I mean, now when you look at it today, I'm just saying this community has been hijacked and took advantage of that privilege, you know, and now it's just like, you know, it's getting out of hand. So I agree. I agree. That's why I'm showing the hypocrisy in this community. People are talking about this. I'm not the only one. That's why I'm bringing all of this. These receipts. That's perfectly valid. My standard for being transgender was being diagnosed with gender dysphoria, which is a legitimate condition. And now it's been, oh, however way you feel. So if you feel on Tuesday you're a woman and on Thursday you're a pizza, that's perfectly valid. But to you, that's ridiculous. And I, I want to know why that is ridiculous. We should be talking about actual women on International Women's Day. That's not crazy. I mean, I agree. Like, but uh, what, your idea of an actual woman... Uh, the I chromosomes. Mean, it's pretty it's an adult female. It's not difficult. The chromosomes are a pretty good indication. I don't think you have to be biologically female to identify then you are wrong because then i can identify as a fox yeah but again it's kind of an absurd point and when you hit that argument with this logic with with that logic then people get upset but it's like no you know it's the same